Alright, hello everybody. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, I feel like my mic is turned up a bit louder than normal today. I can't- let me know if it's too loud. Anyway, how are we doing, chat? Welcome, 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 welcome. Oh, I'm still feeling a little coldy, so if my, uh, if my voice sounds a little strange, that's not the entire reason why, but that's most of the reason why. It's my grappling hook friend come to me. Okay, so if I remember correct- wait. <clears throat> wait, I didn't we get you to the- dense Oh fuck? my god. Thank you very much for the subscription, uh, Micah. It's very much appreciated. You absolute Chad. Right, where are we going? Uh, we're heading up. I guess we went this way? Yeah, okay, we went up. <clears throat> so let's continue that way. But yeah, welcome back to stream, everybody. I hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well, specifically Micah. I've been a very busy bee lately. It's been a good time. I uh, was playing a gig with my band yesterday. We're getting a lot booked recently, which is sick as fuck. Um, <clears throat> but yesterday was actually the first gig I've played in a while where I really felt like everything just... Not only did everything go pretty much how we wanted it, as in, like, you know, everything was tight and sounded good. But, um, arguably more importantly, just the energy in the room was actually, like, kind of great. Um, so that was really fucking cool. Um, the front man had a couple friends down and they, uh, they were having a very, very good time. Band were tight as fuck. The whole night was great, honestly. Um, we also, like, there was another band playing called, uh, X Gi- Pardon me. Called X Giants, who are like a, it's kind of experimentally post-punk band. Really, really cool band. Um, I'd never heard of them before. In fact, I mean, I think they've only just started, really. They're quite new. Um, I, just FYI- <clears throat> I have no idea what I'm doing in this area, so fuck it, let's let's try a different route this time, why not? Um, oh no, you know what, you'd have thought our grappling hook should be able to help us in the zero-g section. I guess we'll have to try it out, but we'll see, we'll see. But yeah, um, <clears throat> but yeah, no, it went, um, it went really well. The, at that X Giants band were extremely fucking cool, very, very weird. Um, vocals were very strange as well, um, <laughs> like... My, uh, the bassist of our band described the vocals as sounding a bit like someone reading out the intro to an RPG. It was just like a very gruff, grisly voice. Um, it, it was definitely a bit odd. I wouldn't disagree, disagree with that. It was strange. But, um, I was kind of into it regardless. Um, so yeah, it was, was kind of cool. It was kind of cool. I, I respect it. I'll say that much. Glad to see you good. Yeah, I'm doing absolutely smashing, fellow. How about yourself? How about yourself? <clears throat> well, I guess other than this fucking, you know, throat cancer, I guess I've acquired. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'd sound pretty good. That seems bad. One of those boys over there is not, not ideal for me. Um, but that, maybe that's okay. I'm assuming I can eat these. Th that's not how you're supposed to do that at all. Yep. Yeah, no. 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 <laughs> there we go. We're okay. I can't see shit, Captain. I'm alright, just a bit ill after the second jab. You've, you've only just had your- where are you from? You've only just had your second jab. That's crazy, I'm on number three over here. I'm- I'm getting prepped up for number four, man. Not actually. But, um, at some point it may happen, I guess. Not anytime too soon, I would imagine, though, to be honest with you. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know whether I regret trying out this route instead or not. Um... Can we, is there a way to get up here? Sup, lads, what's good? What's good, the dude? We can't, we can't go this way. This isn't a route for a slug cat like myself. It's, I was going to say, it's not already uh, night. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. So we have to go around, I understand. Okay, wait, hang on, where does that go? That's just where we came from. So we got to go up through this pipe. Wait, can we continue up? We can. No, we can't, never mind. There's somebody's shelter or something, I don't know. Go this way, then. But yeah, um, <clears throat> yeah, the band X Giant, someone described it as like, uh, as like the front man having, uh, is it, oh, what the fuck? What's going on here? Oh, someone turned on the gravity. Holy shit. What? Okay. Never mind, the gravity's left us again. It's actually a good thing. Oh, that's a bad thing. You know, no, 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 no. Yep. Okay. Okay. We've been consumed. 
No, I got COVID, it got delayed, and it took ages for someone to put me another, but still being safer than Boris. Very, very true. Very true. Dude, our government's a fucking shit show. That whole thing is, like, such a goddamn meme. I still can't believe it's real, to be completely honest with you. Like, I don't know how... I, here's the thing that I don't get, right? Say you're Boris Johnson. It's very obvious for your entire life, like literally your entire life. You go, re you can go read the, his writings and shit if you want to. You've wanted to be prime minister, literally forever. It's your one ambition in life. It's your purpose. If you were the Morty, the Rick and Morty robot, your purpose would be becoming prime minister. That's just, he was. Is set almost. I would. I'm almost convinced he was like birthed to one day become prime minister. I still can't believe he actually did it, but it, it was like his pure only goal in life, essentially. Why the fuck would you then break your own lockdown rules and risk that entire, like, goal? Literally risk your party, risk, ev like, risk literally everything you've worked your entire life towards. For what? Like, some wine and cocaine and cheese bis cheese and biscuits? Is it really worth it? Like, I don't... I just don't get the logic. It's actually baffling to me. I don't understand. He wanted to be a uh, prime minister just to fuck the countries like an anime villain. <laughs> I wish he was an anime villain. If he was an anime villain, at least there'd be some fucking, like, flair to it. Maybe we could get an epic showdown between, like, Boris and Cummings, and it could have been, like, you know, some Naruto Sasuke shit. Instead, we've just got this floppy-haired twat, like, <laughs> trying to defend every action, lying constantly. Like, I don't understand, man. If there were also hookers, I'd get it. I mean, it would be a bit more understandable, I guess, but I don't know, man. I feel like, I don't know, you, you must have access to hookers, like, most of the year. <laughs> what I don't understand is that that's the thing that gets me. It's like... They just had a, a regular ass party. It wasn't even like a fancy party. Like, I, you do this like what? <laughs> it's just like a regular work gathering, essentially. What with what is the cocaine really like? Do you need it that badly? I, I don't. I don't fucking understand, man. Do you reckon it's just like a power trip thing? It's like because they know no one else can do it, and they think I, I guess he thinks he's special. Like maybe that's it. Maybe it's like a. Uh, he, he wanted to do it purely because, you know, no one else can. And that that's kind of like, he gets his kicks that way. That's the only thing I can think of, because I just... Oh, for fuck's sake. Bro. Use the grappling gun. <laughs> oh my god. I guess he just liked the bunch of hookers and cocaine guy. Yeah, I guess so. How's everybody doing anyway? How are we doing in chat today? Other than being very ill. <laughs> By the way, oh, the dude. I don't know if you know, but Mokobot is Micah. No, grappling- Oh, fuck. Alright, well, we're on our own now, boys. <clears throat> May have made some errors, gonna be honest. This area is fucked, by the way. Like, unironically. The other areas have been, like, challenging, but I've enjoyed them. This is some nonsense. I know everyone in chat told me last time this area was, like, the death of me and I hate it. I'm starting to see why. Start Starting to understand that trail of thought. But yeah, I don't fucking get it. Our politics is a shit show at the minute. I And the other thing as well is like... I don't know. I'm not... I, I'm not anti Keir Starmer exactly, but... I don't know. It, it'd be weird if he was Prime Minister in my opinion. But I guess we'll see. I mean, the Tories are getting fucking clapped in the polls. Probably unsurprising. I mean, the fact that he even made it to you guys is... Um, shows you how much of a meme it is. Like, this is some Donald Trump shit, honestly. It's, it's so fucking funny. Well, it'd be funny if it wasn't so tragic, but also I'm a, I'm a sick freak who enjoys the collapse of my own country. Because it's pretty good content, if we're being honest. Probably not worth it, but, you know. Silver linings and all that, I suppose. <clears throat> Dude, you gotta send me. That's too slow. That's a too slow, man. Oh, well, I guess I'm having a sip of water. Oh, goodness me. 
Tell you what was very exciting over the weekend, though. Um, I watched... Does, I don't know if you guys... Did, did I ever you two watch Cobra Kai? I watched the latest season of Cobra Kai, cooked out of my frickin' mind. And had a just unabashedly excellent time. Like, if you haven't seen Cobra Kai... I mean, watching it high is definitely the recommendation, but... It was, it was, um, it was kind of incredible. <clears throat> like, I love, I love how the evolution of that show is essentially, initially you're like, yeah, bro, it's totally ironic. The show is so bad that it's entertaining. It's really funny. And then, like, you know, one season later, you're, like, crying. You're in tears over the fact that, um, oh, no, they turned off the gravity. Hey, Macaroni Time, how you doing, mate? Yeah, the next season you're, like, crying because, uh, Johnny's fucked his relationship with his son. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it gets it gets strangely dark at times. This latest season, especially as well. Been thinking about how many boosters I want to get. I might be able to. Dude, this area is fucked, and I hate it. Oh goodness me! Oh goodness me! No, 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 Oh, for fuck's sake. Also, what the hell is that in this room? I got stuck in this section for literal days. Yeah, I'm starting to get the impression that may happen. I have no idea what to do. This section is fucked. You know what? You guys can chill in there. Leave me. Let me go. There we go. So I take it no one else is a fan of Cobra Kai, then. Is that That's just a me thing, eh? Do you guys, you guys know the show I'm on about, right? Like, I'm not losing my damn mind and sounding like a crazy man shouting into the ether. Well, I mean, I probably do, but not any more so. I mean, I don't sound like that any more so than normal, I guess. I have no idea what Cobra Kai is. Do you, do you know the film The Karate Kid? Because <clears throat> if, if you don't know what Cobra Kai is, I'm about to blow your fucking mind. Heard of it, but I don't know what it's about. Yes, vaguely. Okay. So, The Karate Kid is just, it's a film about karate where some kids getting bullied, bullied by a bunch of, like, you know, dickhead, jock-type people that all know karate. And then he seeks out, or he finds, like, some karate master who's just some old guy who kind of, like, is past his prime or that kind of shit. And then this guy takes him under his wing over time. Um, and he's like, I'm gonna teach you karate because I'm a cool old guy. Can, can I eat this? Yes, okay. So that, that is food here, I understand. Please, I would like to go back to my poll. But yeah, um, so slowly over time, <clears throat> the kid learns karate from this old guy, then he goes to the tournament and then fucks up the big jock guy at the tournament, and then he's like, oh shit, you're a karate master, wow, pog. And that, that's basically it. Like, there's two sequels, don't worry about the sequels, they're not important. Cobra Kai <clears throat> is a series... Where they got the um, the kid who played the Karate Kid, and they got the asshole jock bully character, made set it so it was like thirty years in the future or some shit, like twenty years in the future, and now <laughs> the kid who won the tournament has his own like car dealership. He's got a family, you know. He's like successful in all the like traditional ways, and then the guy who lost the tournament is like a belligerent drunk who has gone like nowhere with his life or done nothing with his life, right? And um, what happens is essentially a very similar situation happens where like one of the um, like some random kid from a local school goes to jo goes to the guy who is like the washed up drunk like failure karate kid. And gets taught Cobra Kai, because that was the name of the of the school he was taught under. And he gets taught Cobra Kai from like um from from the washed up, you know, failure guy. It's and now I don't know how much of a thrilling pitch that sounds, but like they got the same actors who played the kids as adults to play the adults. It's fucking crazy. Now all of that, everything I've just said is like the elevator pitch but the actual like what makes the show so incredible is that it it it's so strange like i don't even know how to describe it in a way it's so fucking bizarre basically you've got like this karate 
like, um, you've got this whole, like, karate vibe going on, where all these kids are being trained karate, and, like, some of the fight choreography is actually really sick, and, like, the philosophy of Cobra Kai is part of it. Like, the whole thing with Cobra Kai is, like, they strike first and strike, like, strike hard, and Johnny's always talking about, like, we fight because it's badass and all this, like, dumb shit. But the fight choreography is actually kind of sick, and it, like, genuinely adds so much to the show. But then, intertwined with all of this is some of the, like, cheesiest fucking, like, teen drama, like, high school era teen drama stuff you'll ever see in your lives. I don't know what to say, other than it's genuinely one of the most entertaining things on TV that you could choose to watch right now. I don't know if everyone will fully get it, but... It's, it's just such a wild ride. Like, I don't know how else to put it. It's actually... For fuck's sake, man! Let me out! <laughs> it's such a wild ride from front to back that I'd, I'd recommend it to basically anybody. And if you're not enjoying it after like three or four episodes, it's probably not for you. But if you enjoy those first episodes, keep watching because the ride just keeps getting better. Anyway, there's my Cobra Kai around. Hey, Sokan, welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well, bud. We're dying over and over again. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do in this section. This section is highly cursed. Not in a fun way. I dislike it greatly. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't know if that sounded even remotely interesting to anyone, but it's fucking awesome. <laughs> Was that the Devin review of Cobra Kai? Yeah, have you seen it? Have you seen the latest season yet? I have not. Okay. I mean, I'm, uh, basically, well, you know what it is, so I assume you must know what the Karate Kid and, like, the setup and everything, right? This is turning out to be the Dark Souls 2 of indie games. Yeah, you might be right. Ah, no, it hasn't gone on that long. Dark Souls 2 actually went on for a fucking age. Like, I feel like I went through puberty again during Dark Souls 2. It's actually crazy how long that fucking game took. I'd be lying if I said I didn't enjoy it for the most part. However, did not need to be that long. Hey, what's good, Tom? How you doing? Maybe there's a way around the murder box. Nah, keep running into it and let's find out that way. <laughs> I'm a smart individual, okay? Well, how you doing, Tom? Welcome back to the stream, brother. Oh my god, a Dark Souls comparison, please stop. <laughs> Not gonna lie, Dark Souls do hurt me a bit. No, uh, um, so can. We genuinely, like, I used to be essentially a Dark Souls streamer. Um, which is how you can, you know, uh, which is should be obvious, because you can tell I've got so many sick gamer moves. Truly a veteran of hardcore gaming. Grab onto the pole, yes! Oh, are those... Are the food flies, like, related to those flowers? Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? To be fair, I brute forced it, lol. I think that's the vibe I'm gonna go for. Honestly, if this takes too long to work out, like, if I'm not making any progress, and it's looking like I'm not gonna work it out, I'll just ask you guys for the solution on this one, because I'm not gonna lie. This game is freaking cool. Like, really fucking cool. This section blows. This section is actually ass. I know you've gone over the lore and shit um, after completing the trilogy or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That was a slick maneuver. If I do say so myself. Yeet. <clears throat> I, well, one thing I will say is while I don't like this area, it's clearly going to have something cool in it. Because, like, you don't make a giant zero-G fucking alien industrial area thing without it having some cool shit in it. I feel like there's going to be some awesome story stuff here. I won't understand it, but <laughs> it, it will exist. There's going to be a similar stream once Devin beats Rainworld. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what I was thinking, what we did is when, um, when uh, I beat this game, we'll do it then. So, like, it, it will be, like, you know, the same, the same stream I beat it, we'll probably do that. Because normally, like, I'll be, I beat a game and then it's like, well, you know, 
We got we got time now because it's rare that I beat a game and it lines up perfectly with the ender stream, right? Okay, so that room was fucked. So let's try going up. Are those the heck? Okay, I need the zero G. I think. Okay, um, this could be a problem. Oh, it's just going to keep turning on and off, I see. Okay, okay, okay. <gasps> okay, okay. We're Gucci. Real good, real good. Ah! <gasps> oh! I didn't know that. Throwing stuff... Throwing, I thought, oh no, that's just bad. Okay, okay, we're alive, we're alive, we're living. How the fuck? Was it you who recommended, yeah, yeah, it's, um, the dudes recommended me Hellblade for a while at this point. I will get around to playing it and I even know how I'm going to cover it now. Oh, what the fuck is this nonsense? You can swing on those? What the heck? Oh, that's a big room. Oh, it's the room with the fucking thing. It's the room with John Carpenter's the thing. What the hell? Okay, okay, okay. I don't think that did much, I'm going to be honest. No, not that, no, not that way, not that way. Yes! Yes! We're doing it, I think. <laughs> We're kind of doing it. Oh, I'm fucked. Just stay still, just stay still. They're holding hands, they can't see you. What the fuck? Can I turn off the motion blur... Oh, that's bad. That's not bad. Let me pass you, you fucker. You fucker. Oh my, I'm dead, aren't I? Yep, very much consumed. Okay. I understand where I need to go, but the question is how. Question, can you tell the motion blur somehow even starting the location itself? I don't know why it exists. Yeah, progress. Getting eaten by that thing is progress. Yeah, I can turn off motion blow one sec. Wait, where are the options? What the heck? Do I have to exit? This is the wrong resolution, but you can't turn it up. I don't where's the motion blur? I think there should be an option, but the game does play visuals quite a lot. Not Oh, you're talking about Hellblade. I'm Did I Okay, thank god. I thought I pressed reset progress. And I was about to actually cry, but we're fine. There's no major- Yeah, I didn't think there was any motion blow, which is why I was confused. Let me in! Let me in! There we go, we're fine, we're fine. Yeah, I was gonna say, I didn't- I didn't think there was any motion blow in this, but that's okay. <clears throat> Realizing that it- realize that it's just post-processing. Oh, okay. I don't know what that means, but sure. You did press it, but thankfully it's a press and hold button. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, that is thankful, holy shit. Could you imagine? Jesus. I'm not gonna lie, if I reset the progress there, I'd, that would probably be enough to kill Rain World. <laughs> we'd, we'd be moving on to another game. <laughs> okay, how the, I don't know how I'm supposed to get past the fucking thing. I mean, I feel like just, like, f good movement, just, like, flinging myself at it kind of worked, but maybe not in the exact way I was hoping for. Oh, I mean, we made it, like, two-thirds of the way there, actually, to be fair. We almost made it, really, all things considered. Do we want to go up? 
Yeah, that's a different path. We do want to go up. Okay. <clears throat> but yeah, how's everybody doing anyway? Everybody had a, have a good, nice weekend? A nice, good weekend? I'm sure that makes grammatical sense in some languages. Grab. Yeet. There we go. Like I said, most of my weekend was defined by Cobra Kai and playing, um... Oh, do you know what, actually? We should... Here's what we should... Here's the plan. We're gonna focus on getting food, and then if we get food, we can go to that shelter at the halfway point. That should cut down on time for bullshit. I think that's gonna have to be our plan. Now, the problem is getting food. <laughs> Got my ass blasted on Flame Lurker for about three hours. Who's Flame Lurker again? I can't remember. Sounds like a familiar boss, though. Is it a Soulsborne boss? There must be an easier way to get food. Demon Souls boss. Ah, uh, okay. I was gonna say, it sounds like a Demon Souls boss for sure. Or a Soulsborne boss in general, but I didn't recognize it. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yes! Okay. Alright, we need one more. And then we can go to the next shelter and hopefully cut down on travelling time. This is not the best room to get food. Maybe there's a better place. Um, I mean, is there though? I haven't, I, uh, fuck, I feel like this is the only room with food, innit? That's definitely not true, actually. But... We only need one more bit of food. There is that too. I nearly fucking hit it. Maybe we can just grab this one. Go on, go on, go on. Yes! Okay, we've done it. We can now shelter up. Please? Oh, fuck. Alright. This is fine. We don't need to go too far. The, ne the I think, if I remember correctly, the next shelter is, like, quite easy to get to. It's just through a couple of these, and then you basically Gucci. So we just need to be quickish, and we should be okay. Is this question... Is this the only area in the game with, like, the zero-G shit? I would assume it is. And it's comfortably the most annoying part of this section. Like, I get what they were trying to do. I don't think it quite worked. It is? Okay, that's good to know. Good to know. Oh, goodness, mate. <clears throat> Did you guys ever get the feeling that, um... You get too much, like, fast food and takeaway. I've just been ordering so much lately, it's kind of turning into a... I wouldn't say a problem exactly, but, like, oh, I learned to cook or something, man. It's just not, like, financially viable to eat out every day, you know? But I just went out and ordered sub... Like, got Subway a second ago, because I was really fucking hungry before stream. Okay, okay, okay. Unless you count all of the sub-areas uh, of five levels of different areas, then there's quite a few. I mean, nah, I don't think so. I, this is all one area, right? It's like the same as, um... Oh, fuck, what's it called? It's the same as, like, um... I just got, like, the Shady Citadel, right? Why is there a pipe in here? It's so strange. What a, what a strange room. Anyway, whatever. Um, you know what? Sleep on the pole. It'll be real cute. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> I tried, I tried. Anyway. You know, I, I, like, all the shade, Shady Citadel was all one area. I wouldn't consider that, like, oh, that's why. I wouldn't consider that, like, you know, three or four different areas or whatever. It's just one area. Okay. Now, what way do we want to go? <clears throat> That's the big room. Oh, I just don't know how to get around the big room. That's the problem. 
I think going up definitely uh, helps a bit, though, if we can. Okay, go. Yeah, I was going to say, that's not what I wanted to see. But whatever, we're good. <laughs> Almost somehow ninja- Oh! I don't know what I did, but it was kind of sick, so I respect it. Okay, go, go. There we go, easy mode. Okay. Supposed to grab onto those, mate. Okay, we're gonna go try going around top, I guess. Ow. We're alive, we're alive. I just, fuck, there's definitely a puzzle here, isn't it? You can't grab on stuff until, uh, if you're falling too fast. Oh, fair enough. That's not the direction I wanted to go. You fucker! We're dead, we're dead, aren't we? Yep, we're dead. I didn't even realise that stuff was like, you know, that could actually kill me. Well, the good news is at least we got the shelter this run. So in theory, it should be easier to get to where we want to go. There's no puzzle, it's just pain. Really? Oh, man. <clears throat> this whole time I was like, we'll figure something out and then we'll crack it. That's fucked up. <laughs> that's super not okay. That's, that's, oh, God. That's pretty omega cringe, dare I say. Okay, that was sick. That was some 10 out of 10 sh movement and you don't, you know, if I just, let's just try going quick. Okay, going quick appears to have not worked. Yep. Going quick was not, uh, was not the play as it turns out. <clears throat> oh, you know, I also had, um, so, like, the main reason I couldn't stream on Saturday was because I had, um, I had band practice for the gig that we played yesterday. Um, we didn't end up playing that cover, which is the main reason we wanted the rehearsal in the end, though, um, which is slightly annoying, because the guitarist couldn't work out the guitar parts for it, which is, uh, pretty unfortunate. The song, the song that, um, they wanted to cover was a, was a cool song, so I'd have quite liked to have done it. Plus, I spent a fair little while trying to learn the parts. Okay, wait, just hold on. But, um, we did need, uh, thank you, thank you. But we did need the rehearsal anyway, so I'm glad we did it. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Go. No, 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 no! Not like this! Oh god! <clears throat> My god. But anyway, the other thing as well was um, I also had a friend round for the weekend. Um, and he was here Friday and Saturday and we played a bunch of board games as well, which is a lot of fun too. Try taking your time a bit more. I, I hate everything about what you just said, but maybe. Oh, fun. Yeah, yeah, no, it was really good. Um, I don't know if anybody here is especially into board games, but I'm, uh, I've gotten more and more into them as I've kind of, as time's gone on, I guess. And, um, yeah, I enjoy them quite a lot. We played, um, that was a sick backflip. We played, um, a game called Viticulture, which is like a, um, I guess it's, it's basically just a worker placement game. I don't know if anyone knows what that means, but the idea of a worker placement game is you have, it does what it says on the tin. Like, you have a bunch of workers... And the board has different spaces your workers can go that net you different resources. You play, you take it in turns placing your workers on the different spaces. And then, like, you know, you try and get whatever resource you need to get. That, that's pretty much it, honestly. Um, yeah, it's a, it was a cool game. In, in Viticulture, it's a worker placement game about trying to... Um... Okay, one minute, go. It's a worker placement game about running, like, a vineyard in Italy. Which is pretty... Neat. I'm dead. <laughs> Get work as fast, make lots of wine, easy win. I mean, unironically, that's basically what I did. So, like, Carcassonne, or however the fuck you spell it. No, Carcassonne is like, um... I mean, it's also a niche board game. You're thinking about the right kind of thing, but... 
Um, Carcassonne is like a tile laying game, so like, you basically the idea is you have like a bunch of tiles with different um arrangements on them. So you'll have one that's like, oh, there's a little river on this one, or oh, this one's a town, and then there's the walls of the town and that kind of thing. Um, <clears throat> and essentially, um, in that the idea is like if you lay your tiles the best. Uh, you make the coolest looking landscape and then you score the most points is the broad idea um, In viticulture, it's more like uh, yeah, it's a work placement game You just have a bunch of workers and put them to work on 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 the yard on the vineyard What the heck is going on here? That's so weird anyway, um, yeah, you put them to work in the vineyard and then uh Like really I can't go up top man. That's really annoying. All right, whatever Oh, they ate me? What the fuck? Even the small ones can consume you? That's fucked up. Anyway, yeah, um, in a work placement game, yeah, you just place your workers and then they just do the thing. Um, but essentially, you're, like, that's what I did. Um, one of the, like, the way the game works, it's pretty cool, actually. The way the game works, like, you know, you have to get crops, um, then you have to harvest the crops, turn them into, you know, like, turn them into, into grapes, basically, like, harvest the grapes. And then you got to um, turn that shit into wine. It's like a whole process. And the way the game works is each turn is split into the different seasons. So you can take different actions depending on what season it is and stuff like that. It was a really cool game. I really enjoyed it. But yeah, basically, I early in the game, I realized there was like a space to get extra workers. And I was like, okay, early game, we're just going to get loads of extra workers. And then late game, we turn on the fucking capitalism generator, you know? Like classic... Classic stuff, and um, it ended up working out really well. Admittedly, I got quite lucky with a couple of cards, but I won the game, and it was I had a fun time. It was really, really good. But the other fucking game, do you miss your brother, Daddy Longlegs? Yeah, yeah, you have no idea. Like, I miss every other enemy in the game right now. This shit is fucked up. It's not okay. I would quite like to crawl back into the womb, please. I no longer want to be a human. This shit is fucked. Um. But yeah, the, and the other game we played was um, a game that I have never played anything like before. Um, it's called S The Search for Planet X. I don't know how to describe this game, but it was basically like a competitive logic puzzle that gets set up by an app. So like, you all install the Planet X, um, you know, like, you all install the Planet X um, app. Then like, the, the app sets up a game lobby, but there's like a physical board as well. And the board has the different sectors of space on it. And basically, you have to, via the logic rules set up, so there's going to be like a bunch of different types of um, things that can be in each sector. So there's like dwarf planets, there's comets, there's asteroids, stuff like that. And they can all be in any sector, more or less. And then there's rules like dwarf planets can't be next to, um, next to asteroids and stuff like that. And you have to use all of these rules to essentially, oh my god, uh... What were you saying about not being able to grab stuff? I beg to differ. Go on, go on, go on. Go on. Send it! Send it, little man! Send it! Stay strong! No! Don't get sucked into his gravitational pull! Okay. But yeah, um... Search Planet X was fucking awesome. We played, like, two games of it. I lost the first one we played because like I was still learning the rules and then the second one I fucking crushed like I actually oh god hang on hang on hang on hang on hang on he's pogging please okay 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 yeah baby <laughs> Okay, okay. Oh my god, progress. Sweet. Oh. Okay, okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. But yeah, I crushed the second game, it felt really good. Um, that's pretty much the story of my weekend. I, I'm dumb. I am a fool. We're okay, it's fine. The fool lives as it turns out. Please tell me that's the hardest room. What is happening here? No! Oh, no! Oh, for fuck's sake. 
There's only two more rooms of this stuff. That's a lot of rooms, man. I start, I understand it slightly more, though. I didn't know you could grab onto the tentacles as, like, an actual rope. So that's good to know. Fuck me. Anyway. Yeah, we played two games of Planet X. It was fucking cool. That was my weekend. Anyway, how... was it, Anybody else get up to anything interesting on the weekends? Or just me? Please, I, I would like to... It's not why. Grab the spear? Yeah, boy. Alright, sick. That kind of worked. Okay, this room is no longer as difficult. It's still fucked up. Like, extremely fucked up. But not quite as fucked up as it once was. <sighs> We're dead. I think, honestly, I can. I reckon I can maybe drop down to that one when the zero G is off. I thought I could only do it when the zero G is on. But maybe it's more advantageous. This room is no longer as. Well, it isn't. It's no longer as. Wow, well, that. Did everybody just see the, spit, the fucking twirl that spear did? Maybe that's what I should be doing. Maybe the slug cat should join the circus instead of uh, doing whatever it's doing here. Surviving? Nah, mate. Go thrive in the circus. As a twirler person. I don't know what they're called. Don't you let go of me. I think we're dead. We're just going to vanish, aren't we, in like two seconds. Can you let go, sir? I'm actually, I'm, I'm going to get eaten by this one thing. What the fuck? Oh, there we go. Yep. Okay. Grats. You know what? In a way, I can't be too mad. Because, like, that must be how the bugs feel when I consume them. So, you know, it'd be a bit hypocritical of me, wouldn't it, if I was, if I was that mad about a thing trying to survive, I guess. Or at least that's how I like to think about it, so I don't blow my brains out in the next 20 minutes. This is how I have chosen to think about it. For the sake of my own survival. Alright, we've done it. Okay. Here's what I reckon is the strat is then. So we hold on to them. Well, I think we hold on to them. Okay. Okay, that's not how you do that. Okay, maybe that's a bad idea. I was thinking maybe when the zero G is off is when you try and travel. And when the zero G is on, because you just get sucked into the black hole of death, maybe that's when you should just be, like, holding. But I don't know. It doesn't look like you can really travel when the zero G is off. At least not in that room, anyway. Which is, I mean, really the important one for the moment. The wall daddies are the only thing in this game I wish was lost was less difficult. Yeah, fair. Yeah, it's pretty fucked up. I'm not gonna, not gonna lie. Hang on, hang on. God, you really? That didn't work. Are you kidding me? No, 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 this shelter is actually beyond pogged. This shelter is the one thing keeping me sane. Oh, goodness me. <clears throat> I've also got a friend coming over tomorrow for some Marvel Champions, which will be good. I don't especially care about the Marvel part, but the card game is really fun. I cannot deny it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay. I think I can honestly let go and grab onto that thing now. But I also think I'm. it's a bad idea. <laughs> Basically. Okay, I think the only way we're going to get through this is by taking things slightly slower. No! Grab onto it. Okay, yeah. I, 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 yeah. Five Pebbles, unfortunate development, is where the players goes to die. Man, that is really annoying. Gone, 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 gone. Go on. Fuck, I thought I made it. Nope. 
is where the player's hope goes to die. Yeah, that makes more sense. But also where the players go to die. That is not an inaccurate statement. I imagine this this is this might be the like. I honestly I thought Shady Citadel was the nut up or shut up moment, but this this is This is a lot worse. I'm actually curious about one thing. How far f oh we're gonna catch on that. We haven't caught on to it. Yo's Okay, this is fine. How far through the game am I? Oh, oh my god. Like, i got to imagine we're approaching the end now, right? Depending on, I don't know what the end would be, but we must be getting there, right? You're a little more than halfway through. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, okay, okay. Fuck me, alright. <laughs> well, I wonder what this thing is in the middle then. It's clearly the source of the, uh, of all the zero G fuckery, isn't it? But. I still don't know what it is. Okay, okay, okay. We're living, we're living. You know what, fuck it, let's try it. Hang on. Let's get a bit higher up. Swing a bit more. Send it. Okay, good send, good send. Get out of there. Lovely stuff, all right. No! You fuck no, not like this. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. I actually don't believe it. We had it. We actually had it. I understand the technique slightly better now, though. You just want to stay like dead in the middle. Too far. Oh, good. Me to one side, and you're all kinds of fricked, man. The real question I have, though, is what are we going to play after Rainworld? I still don't know. I, I feel like I suggested a few things, but I can't remember them. Also, we may be only about... We may be a little over halfway in terms of content, but... I would guess we're over halfway in terms of time. Because, like, that's typically how these things go. Especially these, very, like, ultra-challenging games where it's, like, you know, the puzzle is just working out how the fuck to survive. Like, those first few streams must have taken so much longer than they actually needed to take. So, like, now we know sort of how to survive, you know. It sh in theory, it should be slightly easier, right? So like in theory we should be over half over halfway in terms of time. I don't know if that made any sense. That was a long run and ramble, but I think you get the point. Go on, go on. Nope, that's not what you do. I the the thing is as well, is the does the do the wool daddies like do they ever let go if they touch you? Because I feel like so far, every time one of them has even got like, you know, a fucking hair follicle on me, I'm dead. There's no getting away from it. It's actually absurd. You just get sucked in like a goddamn black hole. I think that's the most annoying part. Not anything else. Like, the puzzle is fine. I kind of get it. It's, it's so okay. I, I can respect it, but... They do not. Yeah. It's the fact that if you fuck up even slightly, you're just guaranteed dead that shit's fucked up flex daddies what do you mean flex daddies that's not very flexible of them oh that's bad yeah that's real bad yep om nom 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 
I wonder how, I wonder what the nutritional content of a slug cat would be. Do you reckon they're like... I guess it's hard to tell because they just look like ghosts. I reckon there'd be a lot of fat in a slug cat. I reckon it'd be mostly fat. Like, I don't think it would actually be very nutritional to eat, honestly. Maybe that's it. Maybe we're playing the long haul. Maybe everyone else runs the world right now. But when everyone's too, like, eaten too many slug cats and become really fat as a result of it and too sluggish to continue in this world, that's when the slug cats will come back from the depths, man. Give it about a thousand years, okay? Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. Too close, too close. Okay, okay, okay. Climb, climb, climb. We've done it. Yeah, all right, sick. Lovely stuff. Okay. No! Oh, my God. Not again. <laughs> Are you actually kidding me? I mean, they're like one meter tall bipedal animal covered in mucus. So a monkey mucus, the fur... Well, minus the fur is a good analog. That is kind of horrifying. This fucker's not gonna let go, is it? Am I locked here forever? If I oh, turns out they do let go. You just gotta be chad enough to do it. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! Please, let me in the hole. Oh my god, we've done it. Jesus Christ. I thought we were fucking deceased, man. But no, the slug cats reign supreme, baby. Okay, okay, okay. Send it, send it. Good sends, good sends. We're dead. Yeah, that's not the way I wanted to go. You gotta send it right down the fucking middle. Oh my god. Now to get to Death Room 2, the sequel. <laughs> that's not what I wanna hear. I'm just gonna be honest. What I wanna hear is, wow, you made it past that. Good job. It's all roses from here on out. Congratulations. You beat the game. <laughs> Just, just, just eat me. Just do it. I've made an error. Oh. I don't understand. These slug cats are so fucking dumb. I know they're being operated by me and that mainly reflects on my poor decision making, but... Slug cats have tool use. They should be at least as smart as apes, man. This guy does not have the puzzle cracking capabilities of, like, a monkey. It's just, I can't see it. It's just not possible. That was some based movement, dare I say. Okay, I can't remember if in the end I landed on... Well, oh, definitely not like that. Um, should I be moving when the zero G is on or off? That's the main question I have. I still can't work it out. Does it depend? Is it one of those things where I should use my dreaded judgment? It depends. Fantastic. It's not what I wanted to hear, but I understand. I mean... Surely we can't stay stuck on this room for an entire stream, can we? Ah, who am I kidding? It's entirely possible. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, okay. Now, it's not how you're supposed to do that at all. When we get to that room and the zero G is already on, honestly, we're going to die like 100% of the time. Ooh. 
you absolutely can. That's exactly what happened to me. Wait, what? Sorry, I completely. I'm not gonna lie. I have no idea what I said. I was. I said it and then it left my skull immediately. Okay. Spending two hours on this one room. Oh, yeah. I believe you. This is essentially like... This is the equivalent of like a boss. Except far lamer. <laughs> that is absolutely not what I intended to do. But I am very happy it worked out as well as it did. Okay, but this first jump you have to wait for zero G. I don't think there's any getting around it really. Go on, climb, crawl away, crawl away. No, why would you press A? You mop it. Shit is fucked up, man. You know, when I was doing the Dark Souls stuff, there was, like, occasionally a boss that would pop up that was so hard that, like... Whew, I ended up just having to do it off-stream. I'm not gonna lie, I'm starting to get the impression this may be the case with this room as well. Like, I'll just beat it, and then when I can beat it, I'll show you guys that I can beat it, and we'll move on. Because look, I know I'm the single greatest conversationalist on the planet, but even my witty chops cannot get us through eight hours of the same room. It's just not possible. There was at least um, two Bloodborne bosses. That we ended up spending eight hours on. It was fucking crazy. I don't know if you know um, Bloodborne that well, but Orphan of Kos and Lawrence, both from the DLC. Two hardest bosses I've ever faced in a video game. It was fuck. Okay. We'll, have, we'll try a zero G swing, I think. A non zero G swing, sorry, that's not what I meant to say. Okay. It's kind of worked. Oh, this totally worked, actually. Never mind. I'm pogged to the fucking gills. Um. Grab onto the pole, please, sir. Sir? <gasps> sir! Sir! Oh, sir. Sir! My god, we're alive. Okay. I, I can't believe we lived that, but we did it. Okay, let me pull up the 5p map and direct you around this room. It's okay, it's okay. How to do it isn't the hard bit. The hard bit is not, is this. Oh, that's completely fine. <gasps> you son of a gun. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. We're fine, we're fine. It's on this next zero G bit. We need to have the like torque and aim to make ourselves go in a straight line. That's not it. Well, we threw it the wrong way as well. Fantastic. Okay, hold on. This could be it. Okay, now go. Fuck! The, the rope always fucks up my angle. That's the problem. Oh, come on, swim. Yeah, yeah. Keep going. Yes! Oh my fucking god. Okay. Wait, where now? You dense fuck! Oh god, that scared the shit out of me. Alexi, not like that. <laughs> How you doing, Alexi? Welcome back to the stream. It's okay, it's okay. Right. Oh, there's an upgrade there. Fuck it. I don't care about the sandbox. Fuck your sandbox. Okay, okay, okay. Oh god, we've almost done it. To the next room, Jesus Christ. Whoever made this is unironically like a sadistic asshole, and I kind of love them for it. Almost there. Is this the bit where you say this is the worst room? Okay, 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 okay. Wait, what? Wait, hang on. What route do we want to take? Fuck, I don't know. Um. I guess we're going up. Going up, baby! 
<laughs> oh, oh, that's bad. No, we're fine. We're fine. Okay, 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 okay. You're past the worst bit now. I believe you. Should we go? Should I go up or sideways? Let me pause it. Macaroni, you guide me. Up or left? Thank you for the sub, by the way. I very much appreciate that, Alexi. You pogged general per pogged in general person. It doesn't matter. Oh well, in that case, I'm gonna take the path of least resistance. Okay, fucking hell. All right, five pebbles. The memory conflux. Oh, have they stopped turning the zero G on and off. You betcha. Love supporting the channel. Thank you very much. It's very much appreciated. Oh goodness me. Bro, I can't do it. Is shit impossible? Oh my god. Alexi, are you a fan of um, Cobra Kai by any chance? I feel like you would be. And I just watched season four this weekend. And had a simply incredible time. <laughs> I'll get there eventually. Just, just give me a sec. Just gotta swim real slow. Wait, hang on. Is there rain up here? How does the rain even work up here? Oh, Jesus. Oh my god, there's so much area. Seen the first season, really enjoyed it. I haven't picked it back up yet. I, you, okay. My recommendation to you is just watch Cobra Kai season two. Because by the end of season two, you won't be able to stop watching the rest of it. I promise you that much. The end of season two was where I fully went like, yeah, okay, I'm actually fully on board with this show. <laughs> that was that was the moment for me. Oh my god. I can eat you. Come to me. I need the nourishment. Oh, whoa, what are they doing? That's so funky. It's so oh fuck, I accidentally let go. There we go. It's so funky that I just had to have a nibble. I think I just let one fly by me without, um, there we go, lovely stuff. Progress is probably more important than food right now. What in the heck is going on in here? Y'all having a rave? <laughs> Jesus, so saturated. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Whoa, what the heck? Oh, there's so much food here. I'm in heaven. Wow, there must be a shelter nearby, I guess. I didn't mean to do that. Take some food with me for the road. That's how every good card, uh, you know, long journey should start. Stopping off at the uh, local gas station or petrol station, as we call it here in the UK. With our filthy Brit, Brit Bonger accents. And grabbing snacks. You know what? Honestly, y'all can go. Enjoy freedom. Enjoy the eye-searing maze known as the memory conflux. It's pretty eye-searing. It's not as bad for me, though, at the minute. Maybe is it worse for chat right now? Okay, I guess we're going that way. In before I find it, there's actually no shelter any nearby and the rain still kills us even in outer space. Very excited for that. Whoa! I was not expecting that. Dude, that honestly, that was more of a jump scare than like anything I've seen in any modern horror for a long time. What in the fuck? Send me! <laughs> yeah, that is very strange, whatever it is. I feel like I'm fucking someone's shit up really badly. Like, someone organized all those red crates for some reason. I just walked in and annihilated, like, years of work, probably. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, no, we haven't been here. Okay, good. Oh! We're at the end now, aren't we? I see. 
Yeah, that because that was the start of at uh, the start of the room, I think. Jesus Christ. What is going on? Mate, I am tripping balls. Look, I've seen enough sci-fi to know that these worms are actually the gods of this universe. I don't want to fuck with them. Oh my god. What in the... Jeez, what is... Jeez Louise, man. These, these things are like the gods of this realm. 100%. There's no doubt about it. This is us meeting God right now. Any, any, any law folk want to tell me that I'm absolutely correct? Um, okay, we, I mean, I, I have to go sideways. I want to see what, what more is out there. I don't want to go back into the pipes. Not now. Or is this just the other route, actually? Ah, uh, it's just the other route. We need to go through that. Never mind. Okay, we haven't got ages, so let's get a move on. The music's really cool, too. You know when you play a game, you kind of get an impression of what it can do visually? I wasn't expecting anything like this from Rain World. Hello? Time to meet five pebbles. Hello? Law dump time. Yes, I also speak robot. <laughs> I also speak big brain robot. Oh! What does it mean, chat? <laughs> what are they saying? I have no fucking clue. I don't read or speak hieroglyph. Unfortunately, I'm not Rain Worldy and I have no idea what any of this says. That seems pretty urgent, though. Sure, I'll do it, whatever you're asking. What? Oh. I literally have no idea what's going on in any capacity, just sitting and smiling. Oh, believe me, we're in the same camp. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Get the slug cat to the capacitor. Transistor, I guess. So I have a brain, yes. Confirmed. The numbers, Mason, what do they mean? Slug cat to the flux capacitor. Precisely, you got it. Whoa, okay. Whoa, what the heck? What is that? Oh! Is this reaching you? Oh, shit! Hello? Yes, it is. Little animal on the floor of my chamber. I think I know what you were looking for. You're stuck in a cycle, repeating pattern. You want a way out. Know that this does not make you special. Every living thing shares the same frustration from the microbes. Uh, who am I? Wait, who am I? If you excuse me, saying about godliness or whatever. The good news first. In a way, in what you're searching for, me and my kind have already have as our purpose to solve that very oscillating claustrophobia in the chest of you and countless others. Trains charity. You and the unknown receipt that uh, saying we're receiving a gift. The bad news is that no definitive solution has been found, and every moment the equipment erodes to a new state of decay. I can't help you collectively or individually, I can't even help myself. Or oh, no. For you though, there is another way. The old path. Go west past the farm arrays, and then down into the earth where the land fissures, as deep as you can reach, where the ancients built their temples and danced their silly rituals. The mic I gave you will let you through. Oh, shit. <laughs> Not that it solves anyone's problems but yours. At the end of time, none of this will matter, I suppose. But it would be nice if you took another way out. One free of frolicking in my memory arrays. There is a perfectly good access shaft right there.
Mate, that was cool as fuck. That was actually really sick. Does that- can we speak to Iggy now? Is that what, like, one of the things he's done? Or it's done? If we go back to Iggy, we'll be able to, like, talk to him. It's really cool that they actually wrote the, like, the death cycles into the story. I have mad respect for that. That's really cool. There is no longer any time. <laughs> it means nothing anymore. Oh, what the heck? You can speak to the moon now. Too bad you killed her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, hang on. What? I killed the moon? I don't remember killing the moon. Is the moon the blue one? I killed the moon? I don't remember much. Whoa, what the heck? Wait, is the moon the um the one that made me glow? Because she's not dead. She's she's very much alive. She'll just be pissed at me because I ate most of her neurons. But I didn't eat all of them. This is a gorgeous little, um, so each of those symbols represents, like, a god or something? This is a gorgeous segment of the game. Like, it just looks so fucking nice. A shelter. I, this feels like we're nearing the end of the game, if anything. You sure we're a little over halfway? Really? Man, this would be the best sleep in my <laughs> little slug catty life. The journey. That's such a nice bit of art. Oh, whoa, what the heck? We got new symbols. Oh, shit. The Chieftain. You have a long quest now. I see. So that, that quest to the west and then to the Earth's core is, like, really going to take a while then. Are we going to get directions for it? We just have to work it out ourselves as well, by the way. Alright, well, if I've learned anything, take some fucking armor and weapons and shit. That was a really cool section, honestly. I definitely wish it wasn't quite as frustrating. Some of the mechanics in that last section were a little bit fucked up. Not in a fun way as well. But. In the end, I think it was actually kind of worth it. Like, I get why they made it so challenging. The only direct um, direction you get is go left, then down. Oh, well, I mean, based on how this is laid out, I assume we can't even get back to the old world now, can we? We're just, this is how things are now, right? Like, we're just in a new part of the map. Right? That would be my assumption, anyway. Like, well, I guess we'll see. I cannot believe how big this map is. It's actually insane. I think this is the first time we've seen, like, human cities and stuff, actually. Or what I can only assume are human cities, anyway. Everything else looked a bit more alien in its design. But that just looks like fucking New York or some shit, you know?
I find it so funny that, like, hypertech alien species or whatever decided to, like, give the technology that they've spent so long learning or mastering or whatever to some random, like, animal that just appeared. Just like, hello. It would be, it would be like if somehow I got incapacitated and I just, like, happened to have, like, a, a like, a, a translator for any, any, like, species or whatever. And, like, a snail comes into my room in the post-apocalypse and I'm hooked up to a machine to survive artificially. Whoa! I can feel your presence, little creature. I can feel yours, too. Your attunement has become much closer to ours. Dude, this game is fucking trippy. The mark you received is an unimaginable gift. This is not where I expected this going. The struggle, the cycles. It can all fade like a morning mist beneath the glory of the sun. We found a way. Did I accidentally end the game? Was I not supposed to go this way? <laughs> Did I find an ending? Is that why I've... D no? What the heck? You just deleted my progress, you son of a gun. <laughs> what was that? What just happened? Hello, six grains of gravel, mountains abroad. I should have thrown my frickin' javelin at him, man. He just made me lose progress, the son of a bitch. Is it, I'm gonna say one thing I'm very surprised at. It's a little stunning how much this game reminds me of like Outer Wilds now. Like one of the reasons that game was so good is because the ending or like the way it progressed made everything in hindsight feel so much stronger. Getting the same impression from this game. Like all of the struggle that I felt initially seems like it's actually gonna pan out into like a really cool kind of like like thematic explor exploration. Like, the death-repeat cycle of video games really does lend itself to narratives like these. And I think it's actually really, really cool when a game does it. It's quite rare you see it as well. It's interesting that this isn't, like, uh... Because, like, I feel like most of the games that do it literally, tie, like, are time loops. Like, Outer Wilds, obviously. Um, death Loop, 12 Minutes, or stuff like that. But it's, like, a very, very, very unique, like example of the same kind of idea right it's not often you see that so i kind of have to respect it oh shit it's this lad also i would like some food please Wait, hang on. <gasps> I did not mean to do that. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Well, at least it's not the real one. Is that is that blue one the um the thing that I spoke to initially then, or this thing that I spoke to just now? Was the blue one the the sparks person all along, or no? Or is it like a different thing? I'm alive. I didn't die. I'm not owned, you're owned. Escog uh, MA normally gives you maximum karma, but you got fully upgraded after talking to Pebbles. I see, I see. What's karma? I, I, what's karma? I don't understand in this game. It's not food. Is it like the... Uh, the survivor thing, you know, the the cycle things or whatever they're called, I don't know. Okay. Karma is the levels you get after sleeping and lose when you die. Ah, okay, I thought so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, I we should go into this shelter. There's really no reason not to. We're, we're full on. We've got a full frickin' belly.
A very well-fed slug cat. We got some weapons. I know we haven't used much of the day. But I don't see any reason not to when we can, you know? My prediction is all right, I could see us finishing this game in the next... Um, I could see us finishing this game in the next three or four streams. That's kind of the feeling I'm getting. Like, this might be a long journey. But we've learned so much that I think we're going to make much quicker progress compared to the start of the game. But I guess we'll see. Now, what the heck is down here, firstly? Oh, there's the lizard again. Is this... Wait, hang on. I want to see what... I'm assuming this takes you at the same area as the area up there. But I guess... Oh, there's fucking lizards everywhere now. Jesus. Okay, okay, well... Get it back, get back, get back. We better get back to our old tricks, eh? Al? I'm alive. <laughs> go, 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 go. Oh, Jesus. Good lord. Um. Okay, I'm alive. That'll smite the lizard brains. That works. The wall time. I see you there. <gasps> Fuck you! I didn't see you! I'm alive! Oh, God, I hate those plants so much more than anything else in this game. Oh, God. They Every time I get caught by them, I don't know why... Something about them just make me go so funny. They're horrible, man. They're like actually fucking horrible. Oh god, that really shouldn't send shivers down my spine. Also, I cannot believe I'm alive right now. We're on borrowed time on this one, so... Make sure to stock up for the winter, I guess. Ooh. Christ almighty. Okay, uh, might as well get the last one as well. Alright, down we go. Okay, wait, how the fuck do I... Oh, I see, I see, I see. I understand. Okay. The, 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 the thing said go down as far as you can, so I guess we should take this, so... There's two of them now? What the heck? Who's whom? Oh, there's a lizard there. Hello. Oh, we're dead. Yep, very much dead. We've been consumed. So can we lose rank? We can still lose ranks, whatever that means. All the ranks have changed, though. All the karma has changed, so to speak. So I don't really know what it means, but we can still lose it. It's important to know, I suppose. Right, I wanted to try this way, because there was another route round the wall, or down the wall, or whatever. Yeah, there was, wait, yeah, this, and then we can go round. Well, that, wait, where the fuck does this exist? What, how can, what? I don't understand. How strange, whatever. Oh, hello, lizard. Time to leave. <laughs> Time to get the fuck out of there. There we go. Oh, well, that's terrible news. Hello. Well, I don't really know what you're supposed to do about that one. Yes, I've been given a gift, but at the same time, the lizards are still absolute fucking assholes. So, if the gift could have been, you know, the power of combat, that would have been uh, maybe more appreciated, to be honest. Who needs this knowledge when there's bloodthirsty killers around literally every fucking corner? Um, excuse me, what are you doing right there? That's illegal. Highly illegal, sir. Okay, there's literally lizards everywhere. What is the play? How do you- what are you supposed to do? I'm just getting clapped every time I leave the shelter. <laughs> it's kind of absurd. This motherfucker was literally resting right outside the pipe. Oh, because he comes out of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. So if we're just quick, then I guess it's fine, kind of. 
Um, I can't remember where I went last time. Is it down here, or...? I guess it doesn't matter. Lose all karma, speed run any percent? Oh, you better believe I'd be the king at that. Hey, you stinky lizard, over here. He doesn't seem to care about my existence. It's not what I meant to do, even slightly. That was the least smooth thing I think I've ever done in my life. Turns out saying, hey, you stinky lizard over here will actually absolutely get their attention. Try not insult. Try, try not to insult them next time. Maybe it'll go easy on you. Who knows? Oh, goodness me. Fuck hell. How am I so tired? Okay, this lizard's actually a fucking asshole. Really? You can't get into this pipe? I literally just watched Kung Fu Panda. Are you literally the, like, this world's equivalent of Kung Fu Panda? Too large to make it through anything? Did the flab get in the way? I don't understand. I've decided to take... Never mind. I've decided to take the normal path. <laughs> Completely of my own volition. There were no ulterior motives for making... Okay, goodbye, sir. Okay. Progress. There's not a lizard in that pipe, is there? Go fuck yourself? You're a liar? You're a dang liar? Um... Where am I? I'm there. We got to there last time. Seems like we can get there. Malt. Okay, that's probably not how you do that. Wouldn't... Oh, shit! We can still lose all of our karma. I didn't realize that. He just let us ascend even higher. I thought it, like, replaced the old tracker. <laughs> no, he's just brought us higher so we can fall even further. That, you know what? Honestly, kind of a passive-aggressive dickish move. Who said I- Oh my god. That is not fair. That's actually unbelievable. I can't believe that can happen. That's so fucked up. Mate, people used to complain about camping in Call of Duty. Imagine camping in a solo game as an AI. That's so fucked up, man. Get out of here. Oh, we smacked him good. Yeah, we smacked him real good. Not good enough, apparently. And we're alive, so I guess it's fine. I think we gave him a concussion or something. He just went straight back to sleep. Oh, this seems bad. Can you get in here? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, you can. All right, fair enough. Guess we're going the long way around. How many fucking lizards? Jesus. Bro, this is fucked up. This guy knows my plans. I love how you had, like, three chances to escape and took none of them. I did, honestly, I didn't even realize I had three chances to escape. You say that like you knew. <laughs> Well, I guess you knew. You say that like I knew, I guess is what I should say. Okay, here's what we got to last time. You know what, fuck it. I'm just going to say, why would I not just take this path? I see all the, like, I see the fuckboy vines. Why deal with the fuckboy vines when you don't have to? Could use some food. That 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 is true. I wouldn't wouldn't deny that, chat. Okay. Wait, we've gotten to here before. I thought I made progress. Fuck. We just haven't made progress in a while. I see. Oh, this is bad. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know what's there about this. You fired that the wrong way completely. All right. Well, yeah, I guess you could just kill him. There is that too. Very rare, very based, very red pilled. Slug catted. Very slug and cat pilled. There we go. There's the meme I was going for. 
Okay, this motherfucker can definitely hear me. This, the, 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 I've only just realized this, but the camouflage guys definitely use sound to track you in some way. I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Hello, sir. You know I'm here. Come get me. I'm such a tasty little slippery slug cat. What more could you possibly want? As the apex predator, you son of a bitch. Well, I suppose that's what you get for mocking him. He'll let go eventually. That was incredibly fucking rude. Everything can hear you, like literally every creature in the game has hearing. <laughs> that's not true. Yeet. Yep. Yeah, he just sent us. He just decided to just murder me for no. It was honestly just malicious. Like, if it ate me, at least I would kind of get it. I'd be like, you're an arsehole, but, like, I understand. you got to make your bread. Well, both of those completely fucking missed. It didn't matter, though. We're out of here. But, like, that guy just decided, I suppose, that it wasn't even worth it. I have decided to take the scenic route. <laughs> Fuck off, mate. Alright, we're back here. Does anyone else find it funny how, like, goofy and clumsy the slug cats are? Like, I want to know how this species has lived as long as they have, to be honest. Because me controlling them seems like, you know, you can only really use their natural body movements. And I gotta say, I'm probably about as nimble as a slug cat, honestly. These guys are not very... they're quite clumsy. It's impressive as a species. They've made it to this point, to be completely honest with you. Some of these have better hearing than others. Daddy long legs. Some have really bad hearing or just dumb in general, but everything has hearing. Fair enough. I mean, I guess it makes sense. It's a pretty vital sense. Okay, last time we came here, a lizard fuckboy came through this pipe. So I'm going to be mad if there's one on the other side. Okay. Well, at least they didn't come to... There's three of you? What the heck? Wake up, coward. I bet you won't. I'm a fucking idiot. He saw me? Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. <clears throat> if he comes through the pipe, actually, that would be amazing. But he won't do it because he's a son of a bitch. Okay. I guess this will have to suffice as a weapon of sorts. Okay, he's moved away somewhat. You know what? We can probably just, like, jump. Never mind. Okay. I, oh, fuck. I thought I knocked him out. I think you need to hit him twice to actually get them unconscious. Ah, oh. Honestly, not gonna lie. <laughs> Starting to miss the daddy long leg section. At least I knew where I stood there. It's like, okay, they can't move from where they are. And if you walk into them, you're gonna get eaten. These lizards, on the other hand, they don't give a fuck. They'll just appear literally anywhere. It's a mystery as to how they know where to, like... It's genuinely a mystery as to how they achieve everything. It's very strange to me. Well, that's not how that was supposed to go. That's roughly how that was supposed to go. Yes, fight each other. If this fucker follows me after I left him a meal, I'm gonna be pissed. I assume they eat each other anyway. That's the kind of vibe I'm getting. Uh, it's a fly. It's fine. 
Okay, I think this is a brick and not something with wings that we could consume. Kind of funny that I'd rather not have food right now. Yeah, it appears to be the case, actually. Oh, it's basically in the best spawn it, it's been in the, the entire time. Let's go. I'm pogged to the gills, man. Holy shit, I don't believe it. Oh my god, actual progress. Actual progress, and I don't even see any fucking lizards to fuck our shit up. That is what I would call truly based. In the purest sense of the word. Okay, we've done it. I mean, I don't know what we're getting close to, but we must be getting close to something, right? Um... Wait, no. I feel like if we drop down, we'll just die. <sighs> yeah, I think so. We should try going across. You won't. Well, we're going across anyway. I have decided. Whoa, what the heck? Okay, yep, yeah, uh, never mind. We're going down. Goodbye. <laughs> And so the mysteries of the unknown. Amazing, we're alive. It's gonna get awfully foggy, isn't it? I can deal with the fogginess, actually. It's not too bad, necessarily. It's very... Do you know what? It's quite rare. Like, I'd say Dark Souls is one of the few examples of games like this. But it's very rare you, um... You find a world in a game that genuinely just feels like a world that would exist whether you were playing in it or not. It's really... Uh, I feel like it's almost quite hard to do, honestly. But this really does feel like a world that would be there. No matter what, you know? Um, okay. Turns out you cannot go this way. And we have to take the terrifying looking monkey buzz down the side of the... Uh, 10,000 foot high wall, I suppose. I was very confused. I was like, did you kill me, you absolute fucker? But no, we're alive. I love how ungamey this world is. It's pretty great. Welcome to the stream, by the way. Wreck. I'll call you Wreck 5000, because... I'm not enough of a nerd to count out that number of zeros. Though I do kind of respect it, so... Congratulations, I guess. But yeah, it's a very... It's not a very... It, yeah, 100%. It's not a very gamified world. It, it, it just feels like a world that would exist regardless of what the fuck you're up to. And I do kind of have to love it for that. Welcome to the stream, by the way. I hope you're having a wonderful day. We've just, uh, just essentially crossed what feels like roughly the halfway point. Apparently it's slightly over that, but either way, you get the point. It's a shelter. Do we have enough food? We do, just about. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Oh, well, I hated absolutely everything about that. <laughs> if we could never find one of those again in our entire lives, that would be lovely. Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Okay. Is that thing going to fall out of the ceiling again? What the fuck? That was not okay. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, oh God. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Breathing exercises, breathing exercises. You'll be fine, you'll be fine, copium. <laughs> okay, how many of those fucking things are hiding in the walls? I don't have enough arms for this. I need more weapons, man. Well, there's a spear at least, so... Get rid of one of those, there we go. We got a shuriken and a spear. Very, very ninja indeed. Everybody knows the ninja's favourite weapons were uh, spears, clearly. 
Thank you for the for the gamer. I uh, I appreciate it. You calling me a gamer actually does improve my gaming skills roughly like twenty percent. So you're actively contributing to my chance of survival. I respect the ominous pink glow in the background. Don't really know what's up with that, but it's kind of sick. What in the fuck? Well, this looks very familiar. It's missing the zero G, though. Oh, shit. Are we going to head back through the fucking... Ow. Are we going to head back through the zero G section? Is that what's going on right now? It's kind of what it feels like. Okay, I do not understand. Where do you want me to go? Over here? Maybe? I mean, this is a route. Oh, wait. Do, fuck, do I recognize this area or am I losing my damn mind? It's hard to tell. I don't think we can make use of this shelter, actually, even if we wanted to. Yeah, we can't. Alright, never mind. Am I just dead? Yeah, okay. Alright, so you can't go down that way. You know, I one thing I will say. Actually, genuine criticism of this game. I do wish it showed you in some way or made it obvious where you can fall down. Like, where it's safe to fall down and where you'll die. Because that shit, kind of annoying. And then there's no real way to know without just doing it, you know? I feel like it wouldn't be that hard to communicate either. That's, that's, that's slightly unfortunate, but whatever. Glad to know I'm not the only one. I guess I'm not a gamer after all. I'm only a mere mortal. There's a way to tell, actually. Oh, really? How'd you tell? Bit deaths have a slight fade to black, but it's not obvious. Ah, I see. Okay. Yeah, I w yeah, there really should be a better way of telling, I guess. But whatever, that's okay. Should have eaten more bug flies. I really could have could have focused a bit more on it and we would have been in a better position. Could have taken advantage of the shelter, but alas, I suppose that do be life. Yeah, this area definitely looks familiar. Like, I'm 90% sure we've been here before, but I can't remember. I love how you're actively ignoring the other path that's directly next to the shell. Wait, what? I... I somehow did not see that pipe. Do you know what? It may be because I was freaked out so much by the bug that I was just like, we need to leave and we need to leave immediately. I mean, what, okay, question. What way is progress? <laughs> That's the real question. Or do we need to go both ways anyway? Because, like, I'll go that way if, uh, if it's... Yeah, it's definitely not how you do that. I have no clue, lol. Where have you been so far? Uh, we just got the second, like... We, we got the ability to talk to, um, to talk to other shit. Rhetorically? No, 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 no. Very literally. <laughs> I'm not smart enough to do rhetorical jokes and stuff. Um, I don't, I don't, I, uh, oh. Can I go through here? Also, welcome to the stream, Ice Toblerones. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I see. Have you been to Five Pebbles? We just left Five Pebbles, yeah. Hello, Toby Lorone. <laughs> Just that big a fan of the chocolates, eh? So is this the way I'm supposed to go? Wait, hang on. That looks familiar. The chimney canopy. You are headed the right way. Okay, cool. I'm assuming you're saying that as of now. <laughs> the other way was the wrong way then, I guess. Well, that thing did tell me to... I cannot make that. That is simply too far for one slug cat. 
I was correct. Oh, goodness me. Oh, pardon me. Okay. Okay, okay. Hope your day is going fine as well. Yeah, it's been a good day, honestly. I spent a lot of time doing a bunch of, like, small projects. I uh, play, played a little online poker, won some money. It was a good time. Ate a bunch of food. Oh, fuck. I can't believe we got to tell this story. In my local area, a bus crashed this morning straight into, like, a, a shop front, essentially. Like, it fully went off the road, onto the pavement, and into a shop. It's fucking crazy. They had to, like, cut the driver out. He couldn't get out on his own. Actually insane. Oh my, the, the craziest thing is, my mum owns a, um, like a hairdresser's opposite, so she saw the whole thing unfold and got interviewed by the news. Said she was slightly traumatised for it, which is, um, I guess somewhat unsurprising. But, um, yeah, it was fucking crazy. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Alright, how the fuck... Maybe if we leap from here... Go. I'm an actual god, and no one will tell me otherwise. Okay, so we need to go as left as we can. I hate this. I hate everything about it. You know what, actually? Yeah, come to me. I can kill you. Oh, that's bad. Fight the vulture, man. Fight the vulture! <laughs> you fuck. <laughs> Why does everything in this world hate me? That's the real question I have. I feel like I'm the single most hated entity. There could be three groups of hunters. They all hate each other in one area. And they'd hunt my dumb ass. My sluggy little booty. It's not good. It's very, very not good. For uh, survival. Slug cats taste the best. We were talking about this earlier though. Apparently slug cats are just like big mucusy monkeys. That doesn't sound very tasty, I'm gonna be honest. Like, what do you reckon the macros are like? What what would slugs in real life be like? I feel like that's mostly gonna be fat, right? I suppose if you're out in the wild, fat's a good like way to store energy. So I mean I guess it's it makes some sense. But still, it's fucked up, man. It's not okay. Gotta at least get some salt on them or something. Like an unseasoned slug cat? An unseasoned pile of mucus? Doesn't sound super appetizing, I'm gonna be honest. Yeet. Okay. You know, just give me a spear, man. Okay, probably don't need to leap. Well, actually, we know we don't need to leap here. We've done it before. But, just want to be safe. Okay. What was the instructions that guy told us? It was like, go to the, like, really far west and then down, right? This is, oh, I don't know about this one, chief. I'm alive, never mind. I'm a god gamer, actually. Go, go, go. Yep, we're out of here. Well, I hate this area. I hate everything about it and everything it stands for. I mean, nothing in this world sounds particularly appetizing. I mean, the, I could, these bugs would just be like protein, right? The, these flies would just be like flies in the real world. Like 90% protein. No, that's fine. I can eat that. I could eat bugs if I had to, you know? Is that what 5P said to do? Yeah, yeah. That. Wait, what? I thought that was a bug, man. <laughs> the fuck did you just eat? Okay, that lizard seems to not be too bothered about my existence, which is the preferable situation, honestly. Okay, I wanted to catch some bugs, ideally, but now we need to leave. Uh, what? Yeah, sure, go on. If 
Five people said, for you though, there is another way. The old path. Go to the west past the farm arrays. Then down. Oh, well, alright. Back we go. Can I make this jump? No, is the answer. Okay. Back past the five arrays and down to the earth where the land fissures as deep as you can reach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I remember most of that. I... Ah! We're alive. <laughs> <laughs> we're alive we're alive never mind never mind okay 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 this shit seems fucked man oh you can make it never mind confirmed not fucked i'm actually just dumb just about oh no i'd love to know where the ground's shaking doesn't typically bode well in this game Vulture! 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 Through the pipe we go. Goodbye. Uh, I haven't eaten, have I? Mate, just go. Please, let me in. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. That's not what I wanted to see. Alright, well. Fuck. We have to... Really? In this area, we have to find food? And get our mark up? Are you kidding me? That's fucked up, man. That's not okay. That's so hilariously not okay. Oh, God. Alright, well. Well, we better find a source of food. I know there are a bunch of flies over here, so I guess this will have to do. Okay. Okay, if we can at least... That's bad. If we can... If we can at least get to the shelter... Once, that'd be great. It is only level 2 at least. I mean, that is definitely good. Then again, though... Wait, when you say level 2, do, do you mean we've just done it? Because we're out of here now. <laughs> I'm going back right now. If you mean we can make it now, then that that is indeed actually okay. In fact, if I didn't fuck it up, we would have managed to do this sooner, I would imagine. But I royally screwed it. Fairly classic. I don't want to talk to anyone for the rest of the week. <laughs> 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 oh my god. <laughs> Nobody say a damned word, okay? I don't want to fucking hear it. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh god, the pain. <laughs> the pain never ends. Charge, pounce, doobie, monkey ass. Very true. True words have never been said. They should call you Ze uh, Wreck the Wise. I just fucking watched Kung Fu Panda. You could be like the turtle in that film, man. Just stroke your beard and say wise shit all day long. It'd be pretty sick. I'll be like Poe. Not because I'm the newbie. Mainly just because I like to eat food. A little bit too much, if you ask my girlfriend, I guess, but there you go. You know, I gotta say, actually, for a kid's film, it's actually pretty fun. A lot of the, like, um, it had quite a lot of charm to it. Definitely wasn't, like, an incredible film or anything, but, like, I had, I had a good time. A surprisingly good time. I bet the second one's good as well. So I'll have to get around to watch that at some point. Never, I didn't even know they made a third one as well. It's some crazy shit. I didn't know children's films other than Shrek got third, third, uh, you know, third films in the series. It's, it's pretty insane. Okay, probably shouldn't have taken the up path on this one, but that's okay. Okay, we're alive. I mean, Cars 3 exists. I mean, in the same way that, like, an aborted fetus exists, sure. I haven't actually seen it, but... Wait, no, hang on. Is Cars... I think, I can't remember if Cars, I think, oh, what the fuck, dog. Yeah, add it, get, add it here. Well, I stabbed it. Get in the hole, get in the hole. No, that's not how you get in the hole. 
I, I think, isn't it Cause? I think Cause, Cause 2 is actually the one that is supposed to be abysmal. Yeah, I... Yeah, I guess that's true. But that's kind of what I'm saying, though, right? Like, those films... Maybe not Cars, I suppose. Cars 2 isn't that bad. Is that the spy one? There's a dude on YouTube I watch who, um... So, like, I'm not really the biggest fan of, um... <laughs> I'm not really the biggest fan of, like... Kind of, like, Pixar, Disney, like, type films. I gem when it comes to films, I'm, I'm very big on my, like... Pretentious, hipstery, arty shit, because I'm a prick. Um... But, from what I've heard, Cars 2 is, like, especially bad, though. From the one guy who I do watch on YouTube who covers a lot of that kind of stuff, because I quite like his style. I disagree with him a lot, though, so he could just be wrong, I suppose. Um, but, yeah. Cars is the best. Cars is a very cursed franchise. If you say Cars is the best in my chat again, I will have the mods delete your entire existence. Now, make no mistake, when I say that, I don't mean delete you from chat. I mean... My mods are trained assassins and will hunt you down, personally. And you won't- it will look as if you never existed on the planet to begin with, so... I wouldn't recognize, uh, recommend agonizing me, sir. And agonizing me is, uh, you know... Praising cars definitely comes under antagonization, in my opinion. Anyway, um, cars is the best friend. Uh, sorry, that's what, not what I was gonna say. Rec, thank you for the follow, that's very much appreciated, brother. Just to let the new people in here know, um, basically, uh, my name is Devin, and I stream indie games, and that is pretty much all I do. It's a good time. Played a shit ton of absolute bangers lately, and Rain World is just the most recent in the, uh, long line of, uh, absolute banger of indie games we've played. But hey, mate, they took my card, I can't do anything, I can't do the delete. Oh no! <laughs> Any recommendations? Movies or games-wise, sorry. Cars 2 is just really jarring coming to the first movie. Uh, it's way less feely and is a literal action movie, but it's not a bad film. I mean, I, fair enough. I will say I don't believe you, but... Um, I mean, I nailed that fucking bug, but at the same time, I kind of wanted to eat that, so... I would say errors have been made, honestly. But Mate of the Greater is the uh, is the best animated character in the last three dec uh, last three decades of similar games and movies are cool too. If you got something on the mind, oh, I got loads of shit on the mind at all times. Um, I mean, I, I could tell you what I'll do. I'll just do both because I could talk forever about media in general. I can give you records as well. I fucking music's like my main thing, honestly. I play a lot of games and a lot of uh, watch a decent number of films too, but music is definitely like my main my main um, passion, I guess. Games-wise, the best ones we've played in recent memory. Honestly, I don't even know if there's any real close competition. Are those two fucking? It kind of looks like those two are fucking. I hope they don't mind being consumed at the same time. Well, never mind. Oh, this is, this is going to be a bit of a problem. Unless you're an absolute god of shmovement like myself. Um, Yeah, as far as games go, I would say... Oh, jeez. Return of the Obra Dinn. Um, was an incredible game. I had a fucking awesome time with it. It's like a... <laughs> you might have heard about it if you're big, big on indie games in general. But, um... It's like a, um... Oh, how to put it? It's like, yeah, it's like a, a deduction game where you try and work out what happened to the, to the crew of a particular ship back in, like, the, you know, 19th century or something like that. Um, it's a really cool game. Return of the... O Lo uh, it's called Return of the Obra Dinn. The Oberdin's the name of the ship you're kind of doing detective work on. I, I cannot recommend it highly enough. It was a fucking awesome game. Um, I would also recommend, and you've probably heard this recommendation before, but I'd recommend The Outer Wilds. Um, kind of like a time loop space exploration game, I suppose. <coughs> Another absolutely mind-bogglingly good game. Those would be the best two I think we've played in, in recent memory. Um, as far as movies go... Um, I would say, I mean, if you're, if you're really up for something kind of weird, um, and you haven't seen it already, but it got a lot of attention, so I feel like there's a good, if, if you've seen any indie films, like in recent years, this would be one of the ones you'd probably have watched, um, <coughs> but in case you've not heard of it, The Lighthouse is a fucking awesome film, um, starring Robert Pattinson and, um, and, uh, Willem Dafoe. In fact, it more or less is only starring those two. They're just kind of on it. I mean, it pretty much says what it 
We've only got we've only got two in our belly, man. We got a while to go. Yeah. Um, and it pretty much does what it says on the tin. It's a film about the two of them looking after a lighthouse. They're they're the wikis of the lighthouse, which is I think what someone who looks after a lighthouse is called. <coughs> Still saying I knew before watching the film, but there you go. But yeah, very very good film. If you want a sick record as well, um, I would really enjoyed. Uh, oh god, there's got to be something this year I've enjoyed. There definitely is. I'm just trying to remember what it was called. <laughs> um, oh my god, I actually cannot remember. There's there's at least two albums I've listened to this year that have been like really really strong. Listen to more than that in general, but. Well, I know, I should tell you what, one of them was, um, my, I think they're called My Dream Fever. It's like an ambient electronic music project. Very, um, yeah, just very atmospheric, really nice music to have on either in the background or to kind of mong out to a little bit. It works for both, really. But yeah, there you go. There's all my recommendations for now, I guess. Okay, well, he's very much full of food, so... Should be okay for a bit. Oh, never mind. There's two of them. That's uh, not what I wanted to hear. Oh. The bugs are coming out now. That's a bug. It's a lot of bugs. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. They're everywhere. What the fuck? Okay. Go this way. Oh, it's a lizard. Yep. Well, we don't really lose anything for dying, so I suppose I can't- Wait, what the fuck? I didn't realise there was a path that we hadn't taken yet, but that led to some actual fruit. Maybe we should go grab that. That'd probably be the smart thing to do, honestly. Dead again. Very true, very true. I just- All I want to do is book the shelter on the other side of this so I don't keep having to go through this gate. <coughs> the animation just takes way longer than it should. It's very irritating. Oh, goodness me. Oh my fucking god. Wait, hang on. I'm an idiot. Give me the spear, man. There's popcorn right fucking there. Right fucking there. Just get the popcorn, obviously. I do find it funny how half the puzzles in this game so far just, like, essentially are about food. It's very strange. Like, I was expecting there to be more deduction-based stuff to work out. Well, I guess there kind of is. Is it, uh, is the tune by MXM Tune? Is the, I don't know what you mean. The tune? Devin's IQ is increasing by the second. You can, if you look closely, you can see my skull expand to accommodate my increasingly growing brain. The song, oh no, 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 I didn't recommend a song. I recommended an artist. Um, <coughs> no, 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 no. The artist is um, just called My Dream. I think it's My Dream Fever without any spaces. And they released an album this year, basically, that was really, really good. Or at least that I enjoyed, I suppose I should say, technically speaking. Leave me alone, you stinky vulture. You will never get this and other such things. But I mean, like, if you want media recommendations, sincerely, get in the Discord. Um, the dude should be able to hook you up with a link to the Discord. And um, I could, if you ever want recommendations, just, like, PM me. <laughs> I love talking about music, films, games, literally all of it. So, no matter what time of day it is, no matter what I'm doing, I can hook you up. <laughs> oh, you fuck! I don't believe it. Good mod. Give Everybody give the mod head pats. He's earned them. Good mod, but you distracted me, and now you shall pay the price. <laughs> I can't believe I just fucking did that. I swear to God, we're going to book this shelter, and then we'll probably call the stream there. We've been going for like two hours and ten minutes, but... 
Do you remember when streams used to be three hours long? Do you remember when I had the energy to yell at you lot for three hours straight? Those were the fucking days. Uh, let me through, please. I didn't really... If you're schmoving like that, I actually won't let you through. That's interesting. I'm getting old, man. That's how you can tell. <coughs> I will say that my throat is kind of getting there, though. It's definitely starting to reach the point where, like, I'm feeling... I don't, you know when, like... You know when you talk for long enough that it feels like, despite the fact you don't smoke, you've smoked, like, a clean 20-pack over the last week? That's kind of that's kind of where I'm at right now. Man, we should get some community gaming going sometime. Yeah, we should, for sure, actually. I do agree. For some true degeneracy. I mean, I'll shoot out a message at some point and see what people play in general, and then, yeah, we, we, we can get something together. I'm not gonna lie, as much as I ca Oh, fuck, really? There's no spear? No spear spawned? Are you... Are you pooping on my dick right now? I feel like the answer is yes. I actually don't believe it. Not a single goddamn spear. Yeah, that won't work. It needs a spear, mate. <coughs> Maybe I can jump and then jump back, I guess. We'll see. There are, like, pipes hanging off this side of the jump, so... Maybe that leap can let us grab onto a pipe. So we can leap, get this spear, and then come back. That's kind of what I'm hoping for anyway. Let's see. I'm going to be honest. I think the answer is actually no, but... The answer was yes all along. Oh my god. <coughs> Truly, my IQ is increasing by the minute. Give it a couple years and I'll be the most dangerous gamer on the planet. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. One thing I would actually kind of like to do the more I've seen it. I feel like it would suck up so much of my time, though. I kind of would love to get, like, a community Rust um, server going. Or, like, maybe not a community Rust server, but, like, join a Rust server and have, like, a shelter in it, you know? That shit sounds really fun. I'm not going to lie. <coughs> but I don't know how much interest people ever have in stuff like that, really. Yo. Give me more. You're supposed to max me out, brother. There we go. Okay, cool. Oh, goodness me. Okay. All right, place your bets. Do you reckon we're actually going to make it this time? Or do you reckon I'll manage to cock it up yet again? Uh, this isn't boding too well, considering this is a pretty standard jump we've made. Hello. I threw it the wrong way! Oh, okay, wait, no, hang on. Yes. <coughs> He's belly flopping? What the heck? You've got a spear in you. How are you still doing this shit, man? Go, 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 go! Fuck! <laughs> Well, turns out your prediction has come true. Congratulations. You win the bet. I kind of don't believe it myself. I guess we fucked around there for a bit longer than last time. Oh my god. All I want to do is get past this section. And then I can hit end stream and then just go chill. My throat's actually actively in pain right now. <laughs> like, this is not good. If I cough up blood, at least you know what happened. <coughs> this might be the one. I guess we'll see. Ooh. I feel like everything we've done in this stream should have taken about 20 minutes. I can feel it. You can feel it in your bones. I might just jump off on purpose. Just to really, you know, stick it to the man, I guess. I need a spear. I require a spear, please. One single spear, please. Oh, okay. They're up top this time. Alright, that's fine. There's also three spears. It's pretty excessive, to be honest. However, it does mean if we see a vulture, at least we got a significantly higher chance to defend ourselves. Start a Twitch prediction. Oh, believe me, we used to do those. I'm not going to lie. Should, we should start doing the Twitch predictions again, actually, to be honest. They were pretty hype. They were a lot of fun. That's an element of stream that could come back, for sure. <coughs> we used to do it for Dark Souls bosses. I, what is wrong with these fucking arseholes, man? Leave. 
You can't go through that. We're both just stuck here now. This is a stalemate. <coughs> okay. And we still have the spear, Pog. Oh, fuck you, dude. Go to get in the hole, get in the hole. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Those vultures are actually kind of fucking nasty. Straight up. Okay, give me, give me the sweet juice. The sweet cream. The cream of the corn, please. Bro, this shit's not okay. Don't you have to eat? Don't you have better places to be? Go catch some like bugs or something, man. Let's try waiting a bit longer this time. Man, this map is so fucked. <laughs> my god. Oh my god, there's so many paths there. I didn't even realize. Jesus. You are its food. No, I understand. Yeah, but it can also like eat lizards and stuff. <laughs> I may be, I may come under the category food, but I'm not the only thing that comes under the category food, you know? What? Dude, that thing's fucking smart. Excuse me. Where's my popcorn? What is it doing? You know you can't fit through that, right? I can't get the corn, guys. I don't know what to say. This is this is bullshit, man. What the fuck? This is my herd on corn, man. This is actually fucked up. Are you really going to keep the... Oh, there we go. Okay, that'll do. <coughs> okay. There were more spears this way. Oh, well. Better get to it quick, please. Now we watch you fail. Press grab for ten minutes. Wait. You have to press grab to get the corn? What? You could have grabbed the corn? What are you talking about? What's this wizardry you're talking of right now? Okay. Bruh. I, I genuinely didn't know. You have to grab the corn? I thought you just stand under it and it usually showers you in food or whatever. I genuinely thought I wasn't going to make that jump. Not going to lie. Was very spooked. Okay, while we're here, we might as well top up if we can. I don't see any lizards. Not that it's always super easy to spot them, but... <coughs> that was actually terrifying. That, that must be how the how I feel when the these guys come out to fuck my shit up. They're just getting eaten by something eating itself. Imagine being a rabbit dude and getting hunted by an eagle. That shot must unironically be ter kind of terrifying. Like, just fine, 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 fine. And then a fucking, essentially, a fucking aeroplane drops out of the sky to grab you. That's, like, that's pretty horrifying, man. Oh, wait, no. We need to go up a level. I can't believe it, chat. We've actually done it. In before something goes horribly wrong. Inevitable, uh, I don't know, lizard in the shelter or something. We're pogging, we're pogging. Oh my god, alright, Jesus Christ. That was actually such a mission. That should not have taken anyone near as long as it did, but it doesn't matter, we've done it. Very well, very well, indeed, indeed. <laughs> we even have a spear. Alright, we, we'll check out the next area before calling stream here, because, I mean, like, how could I not? I'd be a monster to not do that, right? Okay. I one thing I will say about this game, I'm a little surprised. Now I've played more of it, you should you should get some water. Why? What? So my throat isn't. I have water. It's just I it won't help my throat. It's because I got a sore throat. I oh, don't worry. I'm hydrated as fuck. That's not the issue. The Sky Islands. Interesting. 
Yeah, one thing I find very interesting about this game is that, like, it kind of starts out and it's like, oh, I'm an open world game. But I think this game is actually surprisingly linear in a lot of ways. Missed 5p. Oh, no, you dram. That's so sad. Don't, well, you can watch the VOD, I guess. There is that. Yeah, don't, don't fret, my dude. You, you can, there's always the VOD. Sky Islands, my detested. D what, you don't like Sky Islands? Is that what you're trying to say? I don't understand. This must be where all the knowledge comes into play. Come, come at me, brother. I'm gonna fuck you up. Never mind. Alright, well, I guess that's what we're calling stream then. Oh, sorry you, Jam. You literally showed up as we're, uh... I didn't even get past the screen. Oh, fuck. This, I'm so sorry, man. Well, we've got a video react, so I guess we should do that first. Alright. Okay, Rain World. Hush, hush. Right. Holy cow! Your penis is gigantic. <laughs> you know what? In... In my head... I don't know why... But I genuinely Holy knew cow. you was going to send this video. I have no gigantic. idea why. For reaching the shelter. Why, thank you, thank area. you. Your I know, I do. Than a small it's true, larger it's than a than small like elephant. A tree. Very true. Not a, a big elephant, tree. Tree, but a small Lots of one. branches on your penis. You must wake up every morning and thank the good lord above. You're truly blessed. Congrats. Thank you, thank you. Very, very much appreciated. Thank you. Anyway, alright, we're gonna call stream there. Man, I haven't seen that video in a long time. I don't know why, I genuinely had like a fucking vision and it just told me like, the dude is sending you the congratulations, uh, you have a gigantic penis anime video. It's just happening, 100% chance. I don't know why, it was like telekinetic powers or some shit. Anyway, just watching everyone, it's been a wonderful little stream. It's glad to see, I'm glad to see so many of you out here as always. It's always fun having people to chat to while streaming. Um, this has been a crazy fucking ride of a stream. Um, I genuinely didn't think we was getting past the blue testicle people for a long, long time. Um, but alas, we did, and my throat is now shredded, so that's how you know I've had a good time. But anyway, just watching everyone, my name's Devin. Uh, I stream indie games every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Um, if anybody's watching has enjoyed the stream so far, please do consider dropping a follow if you don't already. But if not, no worries, and I hope you've enjoyed the stream regardless. And I'll see you all around next uh thursday and when i say next i mean actually this thursday because i mean in two days time because that's when the next stream will be anyway also join the discord if you haven't it's where we all hang out and share memes and stuff it's a good time anyway uh yeah cheers everybody love you all and i'll see you in the next one all right peace out wish my slug cat the best of sleep so he comes back all regenerated on thursday ready to kick some lizard ass but we'll see how it goes anyway all right peace out stay safe Love y'all.